On a windy day in the plains, this school goes about its business just like any other day with the goal of educating students. However, as the hall fills with young minds and excited feet, room 103 is lacking in these numbers. So he's at the same spot you are? But not in passion. I just love working with the kids. Um, when something clicks or when they get something, it's fun to watch them smile and, oh, I get it now. This is Ms. Naomi Carl. And then you could put your three reasons. She is a special education teacher and strategist. On a daily basis, she helps many students on an individual level. When they're in the classroom, they need that one-on-one -on -one support. And with budget cuts and fewer paraprofessionals or special education staff, they don't get that help in the classroom as often as they should. Due to the troubled economy, teachers, parents, and administrators alike are all in fear of losing special education jobs, funding, and the individual classroom attention. I, I don't know what is going to happen and I am worried. Yeah, Not that it will go away, but that we'll have to maybe cut some things that we think are really positive. Special education is expensive, but also helps the children in more ways than one. Everybody has the need to belong. Doesn't matter who you are. Doesn't matter what your theoretical IQ is. This, however, does not minimize or protect from budget cuts. Right here. Childhood. Today, in order to provide various special education services, schools need the help of federal, state, and local dollars. Johnson says her funds from the federal government have not yet been determined. Therefore, the answer for the upcoming school year is still unknown. I'm Kelly Crock reporting for Studio One.